Hey guys, Chris here from Lucky Gunner. I am busy this week working on some big projects that we are going to release sometime down the road, but I wanted to make just a quick note to talk about the role of your belt in concealed carry. A few weeks ago, I picked up this belt. I thought it seemed pretty cool. It's a leather belt that does not have holes in it. This particular model is made for concealed carry. It's called the Next Belt. I think this is part of their tactical series. It's got this kind of cool uh, ratchet system, these little clicks so that you can adjust the belt, kind of fine tune it to get it in just the right spot. It gives you a lot more adjustment than the traditional belt with holes in it. It's not quite infinite adjustment, but it lets you get the gun nice and secure without it being too tight. And that can be a difficult balancing act sometimes if all you have to work with is the uh, normally spaced holes. But I can tell you just after carrying this thing for two days or so, it's not gonna work for me, at least not for the guns that I would like to carry with it. And the reason is it's just not quite rigid enough. I typically wear a nylon belt from Wilderness Tactical. It's got some extra rows of stitching in it, makes it nice and rigid so that it can support just about any gun that I wanna carry. The only problem is it looks like a tactical belt. So if I'm wearing a tuckable holster or my belt is otherwise going to be exposed, I would rather have uh, something like a leather belt that's gonna be a little less conspicuous. But with this belt, what happens is the, the belt kind of flexes like that when I'm wearing it. It pushes the muzzle into my body, the grip kind of falls away from my body, which is the opposite of what I want for both concealment and comfort. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad belt. If you're using a lighter gun or, you know, depending on the holster you've got or your body type or any number of other factors, this may be the perfect belt for you. And it's not a bad belt. It's just not gonna work for me for the, the guns that I wanna carry. So the point is, the belt itself is a really critical component of your overall concealed carry setup. We often talk about the importance of the holster and how important it is to get one that fits you right and find just the right spot in your body to carry it and you know don't get the super cheap off the shelf ones but we often forget that the holster is really only as good as the belt that it's attached to and the heavier and bigger the gun you're trying to carry the bigger difference you're going to notice when you go up to a stiffer, more rigid belt. So if you've got a concealed carry setup that's not really working for you, if it's printing too much or it's not very comfortable, just consider it might not be the gun, it might not even be the holster, it may just be that you need a different belt.